and welcome to our annual Founders Day Chapel. This morning, we take time together to give thanks to God and our founders for this school. We break open the story of our history and of the many people who have shaped this institution to be what it is today. We ask God to bless us as we offer ho'okupu to our king and queen, and as we seek on a daily basis to embody in our studies, our words, and our deeds the values they have imparted to us. During our time together this morning, we will honor King Kamehameha IV and Queen Emma with oli, a procession of kahili, a presentation of lei, and hula and mo'olelo, or the sharing of stories. Please remain seated or be seated if you are not already for the procession of the Royal Societies. Oh,
Blessed be God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. E Pulikako. O sovereign God who raised up King Kamehameha IV and Queen Emma to be rulers in Hawaii and inspired and enabled them to be diligent in good works for the welfare of their people and the good of your church. Receive our thanks for their witness to the gospel, and grant that we, with them, may attain to the crown of glory that never fades away. Through Jesus Christ, our Savior and Redeemer, who with you and the Holy Spirit lives and reigns one God forever and ever. Amen. Together, let us say the Iolani School Prayer. You can find it in your leaflet. Almighty God, the fountain of all wisdom and goodness, we beseech thee to regard with favor and to visit with thy blessing this school of Christian learning and truth. Endue its teachers with wisdom and sympathy, with patience and right judgment, and to all its students grant thy fatherly care and protection. Give us a spirit of cheerful obedience of faithful industry, of unselfish consideration, and of kindly courtesy. Guide us by thy Holy Spirit into the paths of truth and goodness, that we may grow in grace and knowledge of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. He ha avina mai kai pisi tole mua paolo, kaluna olalo, iko korineto. 
O ke aloha, ua ho oma nava nui, a ua loko mai kai. A ole pa oni oni aku ke aloha, a ole ha anui ke aloha, a ole ha a ke. A ole ho ie ho o hie hie, a ole imi kona mea iho. A ole hiki vave ko hu hu, a ole no o no o ino. A ole i hau oli ka hewa, a ka ua hau oli ka pono. Ua ho nui na mea a pau. Ua mana o oia i oi na mea a pau. Ua mana o lana i na mea a pau. Ua ho o mana wa nui na mea a pau. Ke mau nei ke ia mau mea e kolu, o ka mana o i o, o ka mana o lana, a me ke aloha. O ke aloha na e kai oi o ke ia mau mea, ka o lalo a ka haku. A reading from Paul's first letter to the Corinthians. Love is patient and kind. Love is not jealous. It does not brag and is not proud. Love is not rude, is not selfish, and does not become angrily easily. Love does not remember wrongs against it. Love takes no pleasure in evil, but rejoices over the truth. Love patiently accepts all things, it always trusts, always hopes, and always continues strong. Love never ends. Now I know only a part, but at that time I will know fully as God has known me. So these things continue forever. Faith, hope, and love. And the greatest of these is love, the word of the Lord. Good morning, students, faculty, staff, and guests. This is our third Founders Day, so we're still at the beginning of instilling this tradition at our school, and I imagine for quite a few of you, the chapel remains a new idea with a what's this all about question with regard to Founders Day Chapel. So for the foreseeable future, on this day, I'll make it a point to answer the question of why we've started this tradition of Founders Day. There are a few important facts about Iolani that we all should know. We were founded by the Hawaiian royal family in 1862, opening in 1863, by King Kamehameha IV and his wife, Queen Emma. They did this after returning from a trip to England where they went to follow up on promises made by the explorer, George Vancouver. What was promised to them was medicine, religion, and education. This vision has grown into Queen's Hospital, the Episcopal Church in Hawaii, and a girls' and boys' school, the St. Andrew's schools, and Iolani. We have a founding that we must honor. And we also have a strong and unique school culture. And when I say culture, I specifically mean the values that are shared, expressed, and reinforced within this community. Our school culture has values that compel us to express gratitude for the opportunities that we are given. This is part of one team. You, the Iolani student body, achieve great things at this school, and our school culture is that you do this with humility. And what I mean by humility is that we're always thankful and aware of the others who helped create our achievement and the opportunities to do so. We remember, therefore, how King Kamehameha IV and Queen Emma, though the highest ranking chiefs in the land, went door to door to raise money for the institutions they wished to create to help their community. And we remember Father Bray, who reminded students that there is no star on a team. The running back who does really well only does so because the other players helped create the situation for him to succeed. We are grateful for the countless people, past and present, who have created the opportunities of today's Iolani School. This is our school culture, Iolani culture, 
and it's part of one team. Today, we are honoring the Reverend Albert Stone, or Father Stone. Father Stone wrote our alma mater. He is credited with starting the path of our school as a college preparatory school. Before that time, Iolani was known as a language school, where kids would go to learn English language. He hired Father Bray, and together, they created an athletics program at Iolani. Before him, there were no sports at Iolani. Father Stone's reach is long in terms of the Iolani we knew today, and today is the day on which we formally express our gratitude for his contribution to our school and our lives. And we're blessed to have some guests with us for this chapel, guests from Father Stone's family. Two of his grandsons, Donald and Benjamin, along with their wives, Barbara and Marcia, are here with us to celebrate Father Stone's legacy. We are happy that Donald Stone will be sharing today's Mo'olelo in honor of his grandfather. They've traveled here from Texas to be with us today, and I ask that all of you give them your warmest Iolani One Team welcome. Howdy, y'all. Yeah, we're from Texas, got to tell you. Good morning. I'd like to give some special thanks this morning. Now, I've got an hour and a half prepared, so I hope you're all comfortable. I was told I get five or six minutes, so we'll, we'll try and condense it here a little bit. But we want to give special thanks. We're going to talk about a couple circles of life. We're going to... Uh, We're going to talk about Stone family post Iolani, because Albert, as you know, had several children. We're going to talk about the importance of the Stone scholarship to the Stone family, and a little bit about my personal journey to understanding the spirit of Iolani. But first of all, I'm going to give you all a chance to become honorary Texans for the day. And it's not that hard, even though I don't know Hawaiian. And uh, I think I'm going to learn it before I come here again. Uh, we're going to combine a simple phrase that you use all the time. Aloha. And y'all. So to become an honorary Texan, all you have to say is, uh, Aloha, y'all. Can you do that for me? Aloha, y'all. Now, since there's a lot of you here today in Texas, we say, all y'all, because there's a whole bunch of you. So aloha, y'all, all y'all. It's a little hard to say, but we're going to work on that, see what we can do. Special thanks <clears throat> to the royal family, the representatives, all the clergy, bishop. I've never spoken while a bishop was in attendance before in my life. The faculty, the staff, all of the students and the parents that uh, make this possible. Thank you very much for allowing us to be here and witness the celebration of my grandfather. The circles of life I want to talk about are, it's funny how things happen. A Texas-born boy gets educated, goes to China to manage helped manage a school that needed some organization for the missionaries' children working in China in the 20s. Comes full circle back to, uh, or ends up in, in Honolulu at Iolani, where he helps uh, keep the school alive, and in fact, ends up with one of your alumni going back to China as the father, Dr. Sun Yat-sen of uh, modern China. That's, that's a big, big circle starting in Denton, Texas, which is the next circle I wanted to talk about. 
because my brother, myself, my other brother, my sister, my mother, all live in Denton, Texas, where Albert Hendricks Stone was born. And I'm proud to carry his middle name as Donald Hendricks Stone. At smaller circles, the alumni, the alumni from Iolani that end up getting on the Board of, Board of Regents, becoming headmaster. That's a small circle. And I want each of you to think about what is your circle going to be. There will be cir multiple circles in your life, all important. But honoring Albert with a scholarship was, uh, was a, is a very special thing. Unfortunately, 30 years ago when I visited for the very first time, uh, Barbara and I brought my mother and father here for their 40th anniversary almost 30 years ago. I visited Iolani for the first time. I had never seen it before. We, uh, as four boys being raised on an educator's salary out in the middle of New Mexico, we could not afford to come to Hawaii and see Iolani, so all we had were the stories, a few pictures, a few tidbits of information, like when we moved to Denton, Texas, and Dad says, oh, by the way, you know your grandfather was born here. What? We're 17 years old, and we're finding out Granddad was born in Denton because we hadn't studied, we hadn't taken the time to realize our own history. So 30 years ago, I got a glimpse. We were here for a short period. Uh, David Coons hosted us uh, for a luncheon in his office. Mom and Dad saw old friends. Uh, made some other acquaintances, very touching. So to be back here uh, last year, Tim arranged a nice dinner for us to meet some Stone Scholars. So we met current Stone Scholars. How many Stone Scholars are here today? We met people actually in, uh, in, in school with Stone Scholars. We also met adults that had been here as Stone Scholars. And for the first time last year, I was making the connection that, you know, this is a large part of our life that we had simply uh, not appreciated. It's important that we do that. So part of my personal journey began last year of studying up on Iolani and realizing the impact that Albert Hendricks had made for this organization, and thank goodness. So it's our, our thanks, our family, wants to thank you. Some of you have seen the, the uh, video that we made of Aunt Mary. Mary is the last living daughter of uh, Albert and Mabel, my Aunt Mary. It's, uh, it's uh, just very, very important to her. She wanted to be here. I hope all of you get to see the video and some of the pictures that my brother Ben assembled. Very, very neat stuff. The scholarship is very important. It helped me understand the importance. Um, and we just thank you very much for, for this wonderful opportunity. In business, I frequently am heard saying, you can't get ahead by always looking back. I also say you can't get ahead by never looking back. Never again will I not look back and learn our history. I hope that uh, God blesses each and every one of you here, the alumni, all attendants, and I hope that your circle always embraces Iolani. Thank you. Many thanks to Mr. Stone and for the Stone family for being with us this morning. We are grateful for the legacy that Father Stone has given us and the many gifts that he has shared with us. Please stand and let us join together in saying the Lord's Prayer. Let us pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, 
as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Ka ho opo mai kai ano ke akua mana loa. Kamakua ke keki me kwa hane hemolele. Me oko ai no pu. Me oko amaloaku. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit be upon you and remain with you always. Amen. As we heard in the reading of, from 1 Corinthians, that love never ends. And we know that Father Stone wrote for us that love stands supreme. Let us join in the singing of our alma mater. full of gratitude for our time together this morning. Our worship has ended, but our service to each other and to this world has just begun. Let us go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God.